The Forelog The human brain is a complex, computer-like system capable of amazing achievements. In this topic, we will examine one area of the brain and the processes attributed to it. The human brain is constructed of billions of nervous cells within various areas of the brain and complicated networking systems marvelously assembled so that every cell is able to communicate with each other. It has been said that even a genius uses only 10% of his or her brain's full capabilities. The brain is our center for feelings, thoughts, and our behavioral actions. The human brain can be divided into four major sections or lobes. The frontal lobe, the occipital lobe, the temporal lobe and the parietal lobe. Each lobe has its very own function that complements the roles of other lobes. Anatomists have discovered that the frontal lobe, located behind the frontal bone in the upper part of the forehead, is responsible for man's behavior and speech patterns. The frontal lobe is the largest of all the lobes and contains five nervous centers, which are one, the primary motor area, which is responsible for the voluntary muscle movements of the left side of the body. 2. The secondary motor area, which is responsible for the voluntary muscle movements of the right side of the body. 3. The frontal eye field, which is responsible for the consistent movement of the eye from side to side. 4. A motor speech area of the broker, which harmonizes the movements between all of the organs involved with speech, such as the throat, the tongue, and the face. 5. The prefrontal cortex, which is located directly behind the forehead and represents the biggest part of the brain's frontal lobe. The prefrontal cortex plays an important role in the shaping of one's personality and influences an individual's initiative and the judgments made. Anatomists considered what processes would conspire if an individual damaged his or her prefrontal cortex. For example, from a sharp, blunt impact to the head. They discovered that the damage that would subsequently occur would directly affect an individual's initiative and judgment. Electronic studies conducted on the brain during the second half of the 20th century showed that any damage affecting this cortex would result in a decrease of the mental capabilities of an individual and also a decline in moral behavior. Scientists then concluded that the frontal lobe is responsible for any misdeed since it constitutes the center of control and regulation. The Encyclopedia Britannica states that it also influences the functions of the other parts of the brain such as the thoughts and the feelings. According to the roles we have mentioned, in this cortex, lies are initiated from this area of the brain, as are other mental activities related to them. Before the discovery made by any of these sophisticated electronic studies, it was mentioned in the Quran, and precisely in Surat al-Alaq, the following verse. Let him beware. If he desists not, we will drag him by the forelock. And Nasiya, a lying, sinful forelock. The forelock, or Anasiya, which is an Arabic term that linguistically refers to the forehead or the upper front. These verses bewildered the interpreters of the olden times. They wondered about the reason which made the mighty qualify this particular part of the body of lying, sinful, and committing misdeed. Then in the second half of the 20th century, modern anatomical studies unveiled the role played by this part of the brain, primarily in controlling human behavioral acts, such as planning, motivating, and initiating good and sinful behavior, and is therefore responsible for telling lies and speaking the truth. Was it possible to reach all of these scientific facts 14 centuries ago by the messenger of Allah, Muhammad, without the use of modern electronic instruments?